What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kayla St. Cloud. I am back again with another video. If you are new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. And if you are not new, my dog, what's up? So, this week, I'm going to be telling y'all about my very first psychic experience, my very first time getting a reading by a psychic. So, I'm excited to tell y'all about it. Let's go. So, once I started, like, really getting into spirituality for real, for real, like, for real, for real, and um, being around people that work with crystals and do tarot readings and things like that, I got more, I got interested in seeing a psychic because before I just always thought that it was fake. Like, you know, I'm used to hearing about Miss Cleo and all of that. So I'm thinking that it's fake. Um, like seeing a reader, it's just really just like the stereotypes around psychics that led me not so eager to go see with myself and not really believing in it even though like there are people in my family that are like documented clairvoyant um and so i don't know i think i was just really thinking about a woman with the you know a scarf wrapped on her head with cards shuffling and trying to play me like i'm thinking like that right but then I started to learn a little bit more, mature a little bit, and I realized that that's just a stereotype. So then I really wanted to see a psychic. Also because I, oddly enough, right, I watch videos of people that have seen psychics before and that have had like really good um, visits. So I'm like, let me go ahead. My best friend at the time told me that she just got a psychic reading and it was on point, yada, yada, yada. And I really think that was around like 2011 when she told me about the psychic reading. So, you know, I was like, all right, I want to, I want to, I want to go visit a psychic. But see, all of the psychics in my city that I know of are on like this really busy road. And they all just kind of looked, all of the like advertisements just to me screamed gimmicky. I didn't know how legit it would be, right? Like I didn't doubt that there are people that can really see you and see into the future and things like that. But those places just didn't scream legit to me. And that could just be my own judgment. Like, they might really be legit, right? So anyway, I was just like, nah. And I'm not going to really rush into an experience. I'm going to, when it when it's like the right time, I'll know when it's the right time. So I had instances since 2011 where I'm like, I want to see a psychic. Either something happened or I'm referred to someone that I just didn't get good vibes about. I mean, it would be so weird. It will even be like weird where like I'd be thinking about how I want to see a psychic. And then like later that week, I remember I met one woman and she was a psychic and she gave me her card. And now that I say it, I'm like, dang, maybe she was a jit because she ain't, how she know that I wanted to see a psychic? But I didn't think she was a jit either. So I, I didn't, I didn't follow her up. Um, I would really go through like, Google reviews for these people to really, really see. Like, don't waste my time. Like, I don't, don't waste my time. I do not want to waste my time. And I don't want to pay for you to waste my time either. That's huge. So, I was like, whatever. When my time comes, my time will come. So, in 2016, 2017, I went to New Orleans for the first time. And I was like, perfect place to get a psychic reading. I'm getting a psychic reading in New Orleans. Made an appointment. My best friend and I walked to her business and something happened. Something happened and she couldn't see me that day. And we were like leaving the next day. That was the only date, the only time that I was available to go see her and something happened with our appointment. So I was like, okay. And I, you know, up until that point, I thought that this was it. This is my time. This was it. Like, this is it. And then it ended up not being it. So I was like, all right, fine. It'll come, right? It'll, it'll freaking come. So, I don't know, this year, it was either this year, I really think it was this year. It was early this year, like early, early this year, probably like in January. And I had, it just came back to me, like it wasn't always on my heart, but every so now and then it would come back to me like, oh, I want to see a fucking psychic. So, I reached out to a girl. I don't know why I've known her for a long time. I don't know why it just came to mind then to reach out to her, but I reached out to this girl that I know. Asked her to refer me to anybody that she knows does psychic readings. She sent me a girl's Instagram. I was familiar with that girl's name already. Didn't follow her, but I'm familiar with her name. Went through her page, her Instagram, went through her Twitter, 
starts to this I do a whole review before I'm like, okay, I'll give it a shot. So she checked okay with me. I made an appointment and our reading was like the next day. And she had like three questions that you could ask her. So the thing that I like about her service is that she is very honest. Like she will use her own intuitive channeling, her own clairvoyance, but she also uses tarot cards and other things to kind of to help bring the information into her, make her be able to decipher it clearly. So it's not solely upon her own clairvoyance. It's also, you know, she's using other mediums to help her out. So... I was like, that's fine. That's cool. Let's go. So it was during, it was on FaceTime and I knew that I was going to write down what she said and then I was going to put a little mark next to the things that she said that proved to me that she was legit, right? She's legit. She is, she, that reading was really legit. I had so many marks on my page at least 10 marks on my page that indicated that she said something without any prior knowledge to. She don't know me from a can of paint. She don't know me at all. Nothing. I didn't have to include any social media handles or anything like that for her to, um, but prior to my the reading, I still don't follow her on social media. So... She was mentioning my kids. I never mentioned that I had kids. She was mentioning um, trauma that I have dealt with. I want to say I've dealt with, but that I'm still dealing with with my immediate family. Um, she mentioned things about myself that I always knew and the things that interest me and that I'm really passionate about. And like, she didn't really ever tell me anything that I didn't know because I, I received downloads on my own about myself and my destiny and kind of where I'm headed, but she confirmed it for me. Like she said the things to me that I know about myself that people have told me before, but these are people that like know me, know me. Like I thought she was legit. She did the whole reading, it was 30 minutes long. She answered three questions that I had, pulled cards to answer the questions. Also was giving me her own two cents, her downloads or whatever. And some of the things that I was worried about, she, Talk to me about that. I did not ever express to her that I was worried about anything. Um, but, you know, the thing that really just kind of let me know that I was in for a ride was her mentioning that, that trauma with my family. And I never mentioned it to her. <laughs> it's not in my email address. It was never in the subject, nothing. I never mentioned it to her. And I just thought that was really cool. So... I had a psychic reading. And... Um, I did another reading and it was not the same. <laughs> I was a little disappointed. Um, I don't know, you know, something might be, something might have just been going on with her at the time, but that reading was not on point. So who knows if I'll go back. She did great the first time. The second time, things are a little off. That does not make me think that she's any less gifted than she is. Sometimes things just might not be aligned, right? So I'm perfectly fine with that, but I'm not gonna send out her information. Sorry, y'all, I'm not giving that information out. I didn't get what I needed the second time, but that first time around was enough to let me know that she is legit and people really are gifted in different ways. Don't don't follow the hype and think that it's some woo-woo bullshit because it's not all woo-woo bullshit. So that's that. I had my first psychic experience. Would I do it again? Yes, I will most definitely do it again. So that's all that I wanted to share with y'all this week. You already know the deal. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing, interacting with me on social media. I'm going to be back next week with another video. In the meantime, y'all stay safe now. You're...